Hello, and welcome to Manastrano Mundanus. I'm Diggs of the Black Pants Legion, and I play Quintus Trantor II. Hailing from the planet Chromanova, Quinn is a noble-born divination psyker from a powerful mob family. He's a risky but necessary evil that no one wants way below his comfort zone. And with that, let us begin our third episode. Episode 3, Burning Down the House. It is the grim darkness of the 41st millennium, as you well know. It's been a few days since you came back with Shank's body, triumphant at your bank shootout. Against all probability, you managed to murder the living shit out of the Underhill gang, trying to rob the bank. All hostages survived, believe it or not. The only casualty being your training officer, whose logbook mysteriously disappeared. Shanky, after having been shot at, for violence to some of you is a new experience. To others, it's an old reminder that life is cheap and those who live by the gun better be prepared to die by it. So, after Shank's body was laid to rest in a private ceremony in G-17's mausoleum, after his body was cremated and ashes sealed in a wall box engraved with a service history, he returned to duties per normal. In the past few days, you've learned a few things. Namely, how the watch station works. You know there are four squads, kind of. Delta Shift is the second lightest man. In fact, all of you roll me some checks to see what we have learned for a few days of passive inquiry. I rolled a six. <coughs> Shit. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> uh, 53, I've had my head down. Okay, so you've, you've just tried to polish your boots, you know. The sword. Oh, and, and of course, sewing on your sergeant stripes, you know, they took a while, you know. Yeah, they had to be perfectly, you know, square. I found a man for that. Oh, you found a man. <laughs> um, what, do, what am I rolling against? Um, you're gonna, do you have any social interaction skills? I mean, you know what, I, I, I would no. even let you, oh, all right, all I have right. logic. You know what, I, I won't be mean. Um, let's go ahead and say you try to use that against the, uh, pool, uh, uh, of typists. Alright. Which one is supposed to be the ones, the brown? Uh, the darker one, I believe. I rolled mm -hmm. an 84. Wow. On the, on the right knee, if it matters. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so, so let's, let's just say that you've learned a lot about the local typesetting. Nice. Um, <laughs> Honestly, that's, that's a win for my character. Yeah, you, you've learned how they, they format papers. Very oh, well, dude. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I got I got the essentials down. That's okay. Good. Griglack, would you mind rolling? Uh, what Griglack roll? Uh, just roll a d100. Do you, Do you have any social interaction? Uh, all you have is intimidation. I think that's. <laughs> he scares the answers out of them. <laughs> he corners the secretary. Uh, Grig problem. Problem. Dice uh, get jammed. What? Oh no! <laughs> get jammed. Get stuck somewhere. <laughs> Hold on. Let me. Oh my god. If you can't see the numbers when you hover, just pull two new ones out. Yeah. That's what I do. You, you could also just roll them on the table by hovering over them and hitting R. Rig like roll again. No, it landed on its edge. Oh. Uh, 54. Oh, yeah. Uh, Griglank, you learn that there are many tasty seabirds that occasionally uh, try to steal people's sandwiches in the parking lot. Mm. That gives me an idea for a vignette. Um, all right, so... <clears throat> Mike, what did you roll? Oh, my character is just going to be sitting there on the bed and uh, talking to a uh, a documentary crew that may or may not be there. And he's like, basically, what I learned is, you know, when you go out into the field, you know, you gotta you gotta be prepared to bring, you know, one hundred and twenty percent or something like that. I didn't really do numbers or math or anything, but when you're down there in the nitty gritty of things, you know, you got your friends behind your back, you know, you shoot all the bad guys and you you save the. Sometimes you get some dope, which I got a lot of dope. And uh, I'm basically going to be a millionaire by the end of this thing. I mean, this is like the sweetest job I ever got. So uh, I rolled a 92. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yes. yes so Diggs, <laughs> Diggs has learned how the watch station actually works by, mm -hmm. by uh, talking to the right people. So you learn that Delta Shift is the second lightest man. You know that the watch station has 63 officers, and they're supposed to be assigned on paper in five squads of 20. That you have significantly less of that seems to be an aberration. 
The organization has an obvious problem with manpower staffing and frequent injury. Alpha Squad are the golden boys of day shift. They patrol in fine uniforms, and they seemingly avoid trouble. And often, they deal with trouble by leaving it for others. Somehow, this is tolerated. Alpha Squad has 20 personnel. They seem to police by driving around and yelling at people. They do very little actual police work, by most people's judgment. Bravo Squad is the underdog of Day Shift. They're called the body catchers for a reason. They fish bodies out of drains, culverts, in the bay. They are often Alpha Squad's backup and catch the majority of criminals on day shift. They hate their life and are frequently drunk. They possess 15 personnel. Charlie Squad, you guys are familiar with. They showed up at the bank. They're the heavy hitters. They are most predominantly guardsmen, seconded to the Magistrata Mundanus. Charlie Squad kicks down doors for a living. Their body count is high, and they see violence as just one of those things. Charlie Squad has 15 personnel. However, when it comes to Delta Squad, e.g. you, nobody knows quite what to make of you guys yet. Other than your training officer got murdered, and you work the night shift. The rest of the station <laughs> has not decided whether you're ill-omened or just unlucky. And we have five people? Whenever you bring up the previous Delta Squad, they make the sign of the Aquila and go silent. The what most does that mean? It's like make... the sign of the cross, but for the kids. Like this? Yeah, it's, yeah. The, it's, oh, the, it's the Imperial uh, Eagle. Yeah, the Imperial yeah. Eagle. Yeah. It's the Imperial oh, Eagle no. done like this, and they're like, oh, That's God. That's really upsetting. And they go, and all they will say about Del the previous Delta Squad is poor, poor souls. <laughs> and lastly, there is Echo Squad which is the lowest in manpower. Echo Squad is a tree of detectives. They're usually camping out on rooftops using God knows what to spy on people. Reportedly, they are still employed. They also occasionally need help. Apparently, though, you've learned their office is next to your squad bay, though it seems like a broom closet from the outside inspection. However, since you succeeded so much, and scarily so, you've learned further Almost like I have a third eye for it. Oh, God. I hope not. Downtown is off limits. You've learned that. There's real money and power there. And the Adeptus Arbites cast a wide shadow. The local cops there are fancy, no doubt with greater funding from being close to the seat of Imperial Power. A governor who, by the rumors in your watch station, was once a mighty warrior. A warlord of a general from some apocalyptic hellhole of a planet, given this one to rule after many decades of service. And you've also learned that the bridge to downtown is patrolled by the PDF, or Planetary Defense Force, and without travel permits, you aren't crossing. The governor apparently links unrestricted travel for any reason, is a sign of weak rulership. For all of you, though, because Diggs knows all this and the rest of you have managed to not gather that information... Whether Dig shares it or not is up to Dig. But from it's what? Worth it to him. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he, he, you all gather and it's like, have you learned anything? And he's like, no. <laughs> well, I have. There's a. Uh, there's yeah, a I've learned about how to do the typescripts. There, there's another door over here. It looks like a broom closet. But like, how many people? How many detectives are there from Echo? Three do just go in there and don't come out for a while. <laughs> Uh, yeah, they are, in the Greek sense, friendly. <laughs> <laughs> oh. So, from what you've all been told, though, and what you've been debriefed on, the Rattlings you murdered were undoubtedly the Underhill Gang. They've been on planet for some time, causing all sorts of ruckus. They have enclaves in every part of Magna City and run low-level extortion and fencing schemes. Occasionally, they run poorly manufactured weapons to the various desperate outlaw types. However, bank robbery is a new trick for them. And throughout, Lieutenant Kelso has been a polite, polite soul to you guys. Provided information and promptly had your back for resources, or at least he could get you. Your vehicle, for the time, runs fine. And the food, while not exactly good, is regular and filling. Before long, your days have blurred together. The calls are frequent, you get the feeling the Magistrata Mundanus is more cleaning up messes than making an actual difference. 
This is an odd planet, but not unexpected. For now, it is your home, and believe it or not, you've each been given a rarity of some free time. A whole half shift, in fact, perhaps in recognition of your hard work. To reward your clever survival. Or just because they're worried of what you might do next. So let's do some vignettes. Diggs! Last time around. I'm here. Yes, last time around, you'd gotten word there was a package for you. All right. One sealed with a family crest. And oh, no. And you'd naturally hidden it away in your locker until you were certain none would oversee you opening it. That being said, you find I'm yourself... i Ricky Bobby over here sitting on his bed talking to the media that don't exist. He's talking to his turbo <laughs> skull that he thinks is disturbing him, but it's okay. just... A skull. <laughs> it's just like you have been fine, twenty-five year olds. <laughs> it's just yelling at him. <laughs> Report yeah, to work. One hundred ten percent. He thinks it's shooting film. Oh God. Yeah. Right. <laughs> so yeah, I mean, if I, if I have time, I'll go check it out. Okay. Well, you gotta you gotta get the other guy out of there first. Oh shit! What's his name again? But Ricky. It's what? yeah. My my name is Rich Ricky. City. Ricky. Rich yeah, City. Rich City. Richard City. Which Richard is... City. <laughs> yeah. Definitely not a fake name. Hey, uh, I'll go up to Ricky. Hey, buddy, what are you up to? Talking to that? Oh, uh, you know, just you know, you know, slinging some dope. You know, doing what to do. How? Do you how, ha- what gotta do you haven't you? left the bed in like three hours. What do you mean? I mean, I basically it basically does the job for me. I mean, I don't have to really do a whole lot. You know, oh. Being, I'm an entrepreneur. Okay. Uh, of of a lot of things. So uh, yeah, you know, oh yeah, I could tell. I mean, just the empire you're building is one day incredible. you'll see. I'll be a millionaire. I, you, I mean, you know I, it'll be easy. I I met a lot. You're right up there with them. The, so so what's up, man? What can I what, what can I do for you? Um, a cigarette. The the Krieger guy. I forget his name too. <laughs> <laughs> Victor von Fucked. That fucker guy. He uh. He wants to see you. I think he. I think he's trying to issue another pistol. Apparently, you want another gun. Oh shit! The Creaker guy. What's his yeah, name? Yeah, the, the Von Fucker dude. The, the guy. Oh. The boss. Does he have a van? The, the guy who drives. Yeah. Oh right, that guy. The, the, he he shot said he the, has another the gun shotgun. For me? Yeah, he had another pistol. Apparently, you want another pistol. All right. Well, I put the last bit of ashes out in the swear jar, and then I go. All right. <laughs> <laughs> I I I had an image of you putting cigarettes out, like using the eye holes of the servitor skull, and just be like yeah. smoking, and then just <laughs> man, these floating ashtrays are boss. <laughs> yeah, damage uh, your property. <laughs> you said you were slinging dope from bed. I imagine you just pulling servitor skulls out of skin air, putting a bag on it with scotch tape, and letting it go again. <laughs> It's like whoever that gets to, it gets to. <laughs> Basically, they, they disappear, me. and I know the money's going to be good because people buy stuff on this planet. Obviously, have great accounts. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, no, I'm going to. So, where did you say you was? Uh, you, that the, what, our old boss's office. I don't. You, you know what, Diggs? Make a deceive your, check for your, that. Your best friend, your best friend who died, it's office. Well, no, don't make him do. Let me just run a perception check. How about that? Okay. Because you don't. Yeah, I'm. I'm not going to have because I have. I, I'm pretty dumb. Okay. Um. Yeah, I don't even. Yeah, fifty-four. I don't know. <laughs> so you're like, yeah, that sounds I'm like, like me. oh shit, for real. All right, I'm gonna head down there. So, so you said he was down at uh, an office or something. You yeah, can't. I didn't remember, even listen to you. I'm just gonna run down the yeah. hallway and open a random door. You, you, you can't read. <laughs> I, okay. I know. That's what I'm yeah, saying. What I, was, I, I was gonna try to explain it to him, but I, I, I know he can't read. So I was like, you'll find it. Just open every door you see. I want see. to find that 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 Matt, that uh, mechanic guy at some point. Get another gun, but yeah, I'll go to I'll go to Creaker's office. All right, Creaker. while while you run out, um, <laughs> while you run <sighs> out, you're finally alone. Your curiosity has gotten the better of you, and the package. I pop my I pop my locker open. Okay. Open. Pa- is it like wrapped? Box? It is. It is, is wrapped it? immaculately. Oh, this motherfucker wrapped like a ring inside like seventeen layers of duct tape, didn't he? <laughs> as as you so examine, like for three hours cutting oh. the duct tape off a box that they overpackaged for like this little thing. Is uh, I'll 
I'll try to open it. As you examine the package, you see it bears your family crest with all the hallmarks you expect of such a landed and infamous house of noble power, criminal undertones and all that. Perception check, Diggs. Uh, that's a super no. 71. You, you decide not to examine it further and just tear the package open. <laughs> sure. Yeah. Um, upon opening, there is an ornate wooden box made of highly polished wood inlaid with your family crest. It has two snakes rearing to strike and a dagger through the middle. Your house's signet is known for tremendous underworld power on your homeworld, for making deals most dare not to refuse, and ensuring their will be done, away from prying eyes, of course. There is a latch with a thumb reader on the side made of what looks like gold. All right, so you're going to press it. Put my thumb it. up to it. Okay. Upon pressing the thumb reader, the box chirps and snaps open. There's a slight hiss as it's hermetically sealed. <laughs> no. <laughs> the no, fart gas really kills good. you. No. <laughs> it smells really good in there because it's from a way better place. Yeah, it's, 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 ah. like, it, it's like the sense of your home world, so it's like rich tobacco oh and my, leather and all that. Yeah. Ah. yeah. And, and, and is, the, is that fading whisper to you? Aerosol cocaine. <laughs> <laughs> Ah, yes, the boutique cocaine fields of my homeland. <laughs> Such extravagance. Yeah. You can lick it right off the tree. Oh, God. Yeah, why, why I'm opening it up like this. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you feel a little homesick as the air and scents fade. Upon pressing the thumb reader and the box snapping open and the scent fading away, you raise the lid, and inside is laid on a plush velvet carpet, a fine pistol, and a small note card written in the finest of paper. Ooh. I think I'm ultra super mega reader. <laughs> Is it high or low gothic? High gothic. Alright. Which um, means if someone else had gotten into this, they wouldn't be able to read it. I mean, maybe I, go... Unless it was me, I would have been able to read it. But yeah. yeah, but you would have also never opened a box that wasn't yours because it's mail tampering. Yeah, that's against regulations. <laughs> yeah, I it's, love this guy. Yeah, it's against regulations. He'd be like, oh, that's against statutes. Um, all right. So do you want to look at the gun first, or do you want to love the note? Uh, I'll read the card, because uh, material things have never really been his thing, because he's grown up very opulent. Okay. So it's like, oh, gun. All right. <laughs> the note says in High Gothic, Dear son, though you are gone to this family for reasons we all know, you are still our flesh and blood. May this pistol serve you well in your endeavors. Remember, remember your name may be alien to this world, but it still has meaning. And though you are a part of us, you are still a member of our house. Carry yourself well. Make a name for our house. And whatever road you have chosen, we will be watching. And then, as you read that, your finger starts to burn. Ah. So you're just going to let go of it? Well, I mean, I'm a psycho. I just go, wow. <laughs> oh, so you just push it away? Yep. It combusts. Figures. They well, did that to my best friend at my birthday party. <laughs> oh, my God. That's terrible. <laughs> it wasn't part of the family. I should have oh. better. Oh, all right. That's That's fair. I will look at the gun now. Hopefully it also has not exploded. <laughs> yeah, the gun has turned to ash. Yeah. Ah. <laughs> yeah, no. Um all right, hold on. I have a token for this. Dun, 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 Ooh, dun, dun, dun. Fancy. Huh. Fancy. There it is. Oh, that is pretty. That is pretty. A light shining into darkness. Yeah, the pistol itself is an automatic of local manufacture on your home world. It's a noble's gun. This one is inlaid with your family crest and sports beautiful engraving. It is subtly low polished as to not catch the light, and its workmanship is phenomenal. It seems to take standard pattern stub automatic magazines. As you heft it, you realize the grips were cut for your hand in preferred grip style. How did they get that? <laughs> <laughs> or where did I touch that they were getting my handprints? Yeah, ridiculous gun quality. 
So that is uh, technically a best quality auto pistol, and uh, it has the stats written on it. Um, it it, okay. it cannot jam. It it's it's a forty five. Nice. It's 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 a it's a glitzy forty five. So in in forty k terms, it's like the low end of the totem pole, but it's it's something. It's a very the, nice low end. It ma- it matters to me. Exactly. It matter. It's yeah. it's a it's a it's a prestige thing. All right. I need another perception check. For me. Yes. Uh, fourteen. Wow, you are on this today. You notice there's something underneath the padding in the case. I lift it up very slowly. You notice that there is a holster seemingly designed for concealment inside a waistband. It was made for this gun and your body contour. How do they know how I've been eating? <laughs> they know so much about me. They said we will uh, be watching. They, they are never not. Sweet, I will attach it to myself over the next few minutes and All right. slide the gun in. Is there ammo already? Is there a clip? Is the magazine full already? Nope. No ammo. It's completely empty? All Correct. Right. All right. Uh, geez, I've got to find ammo. Let's go to the Krieger. <laughs> yes. <laughs> well, the rest of the squad has been given a full half day to themselves with no supervision. You have instead been notified by Kelso that the captain wants to see you. This meeting <laughs> is not optional. We could the guy send him on his way. <laughs> he's gonna walk yeah, so in. He's, he's just <laughs> wandering the halls looking for me while I'm getting yep. reamed in the captain's office. Alright. Hal Kelso, she must go. He goes, no partner, she wants you. <laughs> <laughs> ah, yeah, I see. He goes, yep. Uh, Fitch office? He points to the one at the end of the hallway, devoid of any ornamentation other than the rank of captain. He goes, quiet, and, uh, don't start apologizing. (laughs) It don't work. All right, I pull my tunic down to make sure it's straight and march over there stiffly. All right, you walk up to the door. very professional knocks on the door. You hear, parade rats. you hear a woman's voice inside, and it's kind of haggard, and she goes, Come in. Open the door. Enter the room. Seated behind a desk, you see the captain of the watch station. She's tall, beefy, and looks like a former guardsman. Half her face is eaten away with scars. She has an eye patch. Because of the scars, her lip is pulled into almost a sneer. She looks at you with her good eye and says, sit the fuck down. Yavol, I sit down. All right, music changed. Good. Hopefully this should repeat and not go into the next thing. Wagner. Um, she just sits there and starts reading. She pulls out a piece of paper and turns it around and slides it to you and says, this is your briefing. This is your report. On the actions of the other day, yes, ma'am. You left nothing out? To my knowledge, no. Where's Shank's logbook? It was not recovered. I'm rolling for that. (laughs) (laughs) I thought none of them saw me. Yeah, I was was in the fucking county and I got rid of it. No, it's going to be for suspicion, not confirmation. Oh, okay, okay. okay. (laughs) I was like, I I didn't put it in there because I didn't see that. Yeah, I got two people on my team who would never break a rule in their life. Why would I ever show them? (laughs) I've broken a lot of rules, but I also lied about it. Okay. Good enough. She just nods and goes, You were not a cop, were you? Uh, no, ma'am. She just nods and goes, Yeah. And yet you survived. 261st Creek Regiment. Her eyes kind of open, and she points to the scars and says... Katie in 312. I used to be a guardsman, too. Yeah. She just sighs and leans back and looks a little less confrontational. She goes, Do you know what those fuckers were stealing at that bank? I assume it had great value to be secured as such. They were after a safety deposit box, and we don't know why. They spent all their time grabbing that. The money was just a distraction. Did they recover it, or did we stop them? That's the strangest thing. 
the Adeptus Arbites swept in and took it. Ah. Needless to say, I don't like unexplained events in my watch station. If you find anything else weird, I expect you to secure it before the Arbites show up. We will have answers and control. She nods. Virda's in my squad? Wait, what? Virda's in my squad? I don't understand. You asked, said if I see anything weird, report it. Weirder than my squad. Oh, shit. And she just sighs and goes, We make do here. I was promised a retirement. I got this job. I wanted to farm. I hate farming, but I wanted it, and I got this job. That is my retirement. You will make do with your squad. Understood. And then she sighs and goes, I'm sorry. It's been a really, I'm trying to quit smoking. You have not to apologize for. And she just looks and goes, stay alive. I cannot lose another Delta squad. And I will not abide things disappearing. I know you have some shaky fucks on that team. Keep them in line. Answer your calls. And we'll all get through this. Emperor willing. <laughs> the phrase still got them. <sighs> yeah, so you're like screaming, you know, like. <laughs> <laughs> on to first point, I make no promises. On the other, I shall do my best. She says, good enough, get out. <laughs> Salute, turn around, march out of the office. <laughs> As the door closes, you hear the snick of a lighter. <laughs> <laughs> Doing real good. Yeah, she's overworked. Do I have any time before my next shift? You have a little bit of time. Is there a tailor in this part of town? Yes. I need to commission myself a great coat. <laughs> 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 Okay. <laughs> All right, hold on. I have to look. Oh god, like armored or just, 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 just a great coat. Oh sure, yeah. Uh, you 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 have a great coat. You commission. How much money you got? Uh, not much. Yeah. Okay. So dipping into my life savings, I have <laughs> one hundred and eighty gold. They charge fifty. Ah, is it Gabardine? It is a local. It is a local make in fiber that is completely waterproof. Excellent. Excellent. So you have a waterproof great coat, and they even sew insignia on it for you. That is everything I needed. They also complain about your presence, your muddy boots, the state of civil affairs, the restaurant next door, the boys who won't turn off their music, and so on. I fastidiously write this all down, and oh, then no. as soon as I'm around the corner, I put it in the gutter. <laughs> <laughs> Just tear it off my notebook and throw it. Okay. Okay. <sighs> all right, Goat, you back yet? Yeah, I think I'm still among the living. All right. All right. Um, well, I need to buy a, a backup piece. So you're going you're gonna to wander away from the compound to go try to find an arms merchant? Well, actually, first thing is I want to go talk to the... <clears throat> mechanicus guy oh all right uh you you walk in you walk up to the armory and you run into ricky who's already trying to bang on the door because he assumes that's where his gun is <laughs> fbi open up open up in there hey rick what are you doing i'm trying what to get a doing? fucking new gun because i know you're back there all of a sudden, you hear the music turn up from inside. Yeah, as soon as I hear that turn up, I just go... Open the fucking door! <laughs> <laughs> Ow. Sorry. <laughs> so the door, the window, slides open very slowly. This and he, music. And he regards you coldly. It is Magos Calm. Your friendly armor. He says right. nothing. Greetings, Magos. I wish to make an inquiry. He goes, statement is factual. Okay. I'll, I don't know. 
Can I buy a microbeam and patch it into our network? We missed a call because we had to move away from the vehicle radio a few shifts ago. I don't want this error to happen again. Errors are bad. <laughs> yes. I, I write I write down on a piece of paper, errors are bad, and sl slide it under the thing. <laughs> ah. He takes it and stamps it with a mechadendrite. And he slides it back and he goes... Here is a microbead, and hands it to you. Oh, that was easy. Okay, I figure out how to slide it, and I put it in my ear. Thank you. Where could I buy aftermarket parts? I want a backup piece. Sanctioned? Um, yes. Check the market. They sell all sorts of terrible dross there. Where is market? You were at the market previously, per your report, which I read, which I was not supposed to, but I did anyways. Thank you, Magos. That you are all. welcome. Transaction over. Door closes. <laughs> wait, wait, wait! <laughs> <laughs> Let's just go to the market. No, hold on, I got an idea, and I just start... <laughs> the door opens halfway, and you just see an eye and, like, half the face. Hey, Magellan, listen. I, I know you're back there, and I know you got all the sweet guns and stuff, so I have an offer for you if you're interested. In trade. Stand by. Computing value of worth. Error. Worth not found. <laughs> well, I might not be worth some, but this dope I have might be. Narcotics. Interesting. You want some dope? I could examine the effects of narcotics on the local wildlife. I would enjoy this very much. Oh yeah, deers and shit, they fucking love dope, oh, man. I no. get deers all the time dope. They just fucking, like, they'll eat it right out of your hand, you could pet them and shit. It's pretty I cool. could train the birds to destroy the other birds. I, you know what? They Bird could become dependent in a cycle of interdependent narcotic trade. However, before you even get into any of that, I need... A nice side piece to go with my revolver. What do you recommend? Hand me the narcotics. I, I will hand you one of the... Hand me the narcotics. I slide one of them over. You get the other if I get the gun. And mechadendrite, while he has... He doesn't even move. The mechadendrite just snakes up onto the table and goes around it and pulls it back under. And he goes... Very well. And, uh, he produces this. Oh, no. Here you are. What's this? What is... Oh, yeah, pistol shotgun? It is a double-barreled, cut-down shotgun. It is blocky. It has some interesting rules for it. He goes, It is used on the local dogs by our mail service. <laughs> <laughs> the, so it's it's it still counts as like a handgun though. Yes. Okay. And I just like flip it around and I'm, I just went, you know, flipping around and I'm I'm clearly this is not the first time I've seen one of these before. Oh yeah. And Maybe. I go, this is a sweet deal. All right, because I'm a man of honors. Uh, I'm going to give you uh, this other little vial. Don't forget that I uh, did this for you. And if I find any more out there, hook me up with some sweeter guns and I'll keep bringing dope for you. How's that sound? Your prattling has cost me many work cycles. He takes the other <laughs> one and closes the door. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I'll have to get some ammo for it in the market, but yeah. But. Yeah. Ricky, let's go to let, let's go to the market. <laughs> I light up another cigarette and I just put that shotgun just in my waistband. I'm like, hell yeah, lead the way. All right, where was the fucking market again? Uh, you guys went to it last uh, session. That's where you found the raid. Oh. Uh, well, it was under it. Anyway, I'm looking for a <clears throat> compact piece. Laser powered. Oh, and, so uh, you, you just walk into the market and you're like, I am looking for gun! No, no, I'm, I'm talking to <laughs> Ricky. <Guns>? Oh. <laughs> I, just, I thought you were just like, no. hey! <laughs> <laughs> All right. So you're telling Ricky that. Ricky. Yeah. So you want some kind of, yeah, you know, lasers are okay. I've never really been a big fan of them myself because, you know, I'm just a pretty good shot all around. And 
you know, I always found lasers to be a little cumbersome because, you know, you got to put them in your pocket and then sometimes you get, like, hot with the batteries and stuff. And I just don't like, you know. Well, how, I mean, whatever. If you're going to be gay How are the batteries you getting hot if they're just in your pocket? Well, I mean, sometimes you got to run your Walkman off there. I mean, you can, I could just, like, go into a battle with no music on. Like, how are you, that, how are you shooting? No, you know? that, that's, that's dangerous. Okay, well, I mean, what else are you going to do? I mean, that's just how I shoot. Look, just just show me show me a, a stall that and do the talking. Um, let me do. Uh, what, what do I roll for that to see if I can find a stall that does that? In career commerce. Okay. Uh, I don't. But know honestly, it should be pretty easy. Last pistols are pretty common. In career yeah. commerce, I don't have any of those. I don't think. I don't. Yeah, I don't have those. So uh, I'll just have to do a roll for what? Uh, what would I be rolling? Oh, God. If you don't have inquiry or commerce, you're going to have to roll at half value. So, not as. I'll just roll inquiry against 20, uh, 22. And I rolled a 20. Why can't I scroll on anymore? This is bullshit. 20, just hold the alt over it. 20, yes, yeah, so I'm doing 26. So, I. Unless. Well, if it was a challenging check, I would have failed. It's but not. I mean, yeah, not here. I pass. Yeah. So what's the what are we what are we doing? We're walking into like the colon of a forty k like Walmart or something. It's it's a bunch of it's like an, a, a bazaar. So you have all these little stalls and so on. They all have their uh, own wares. And you guys kind of after riding, I presume, public transit to get there using your yeah. free public transit pass, uh, called a badge. Um, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you're just like things are free. Um, you, you walk through the stalls, you find all sorts of things from crockery to cookery to food to meats to, you know, all sorts of exotic spices. And eventually you come to some hardware. There's a little old man in a rocking chair and he's rocking slowly back and forth. And he has a wide array of firearms on three collapsible tables. All right. I just pick out a compact last pistol and uh, find a holster for it. He goes, uh. Yeah, that'll be 75. 75? Well, that's below market. Uh, mm-hmm. Okay, I have tech cues. Can I tell if there's something weird about this piece? Yeah. I rolled a zero. I rolled a... Wait, no, hang on. That didn't roll. Natural 100. <laughs> Seems fine the to you. Roll. All right. <laughs> oh, what a bargain. All right, I give him the, the 75. <laughs> <laughs> That's amazing. He's like, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I have my com- definitely common quality compact last pistol. Very oh. definitely common quality compact last pistol. Definitely. Def- definitely nothing wrong with it. Nope. With the concealed holster. Yeah, sure. Um, I also want to see if I can get some ammo for this site. Uh, Hab pacifier. Uh, yeah, it's called the Hab Pacifier. <laughs> 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 so, I love making up guns. Um, yes. so, so, um, that, that old man has a bucket of shells, and they're all different sizes. Mm. Oh, like a, you, you, get the, you buy them by, like, a peanut scooper? Yes, thing? yes. Peanut, peanut, peanut. Yeah, he's got oh, just this peanuts. big bucket, and you gotta, like, scoop. It's by the pound. That'd be great for like twenty twos. If I ran a gun shop, I'd sell twenty two. I'd have a vending machine for them, but no, they'd go yeah. off. But they would no, all no. work in the gun, though, right? Mm-hmm, some of them. Okay, well then I need to I need to buy some ammo. So I mean, I have a pretty high enough firearms to know what would work in that. Yes, let's let's use that skill. Okay. Let's see if I actually roll well. Uh. Yeah, I rolled right under fifty one. Okay, so after uh, picking through his bucket, you manage to find 20 shots for it, and he charges you 20 thrones. All right. Which you realize is highway robbery. Yeah, uh, I I just immediately go... uh... (laughs) Oh, no. And I I, I just go like, all right, so uh, here's five dollars, or five thrones. I, I slide it across the thing. He pushes it back and goes, seven... And I immediately push it back, and I go, five. All right. Knock, knock. Who's there? <laughs> the man is about to take five thrones, or he's about to see that guy over there on the rooftop. And I point at a random rooftop. Yeah, we're watching. 
<laughs> so he's he's like, okay, sorry. <laughs> wow. Yeah, that's it. Oh. <laughs> and I, I just go, sweet, good deal. I'll remember you next time I need uh, ammunition, right? What's your name? No. Uh, what's, no? No is your name? Your name is No? That no, doesn't sound no. like a fucking name it, to me. Uh, we're that's, closed. Like, you still, he's, he's still, made, he's still made out like a bandit charging five thrones for twenty shells. I know like he's the, he just realized yeah. he's he's fought so he's made a deal with somebody who would like curb not, him. I can't count. So <laughs> yeah, not, no, no. What I'm saying is like the regular price is one throne for fifteen shells. Yeah. So I so when I handed Unless, him the sh- thrones, yeah. I actually gave him seven thrones. I didn't actually give him five. <laughs> I have no idea how to count. Oh come on! You know how to count? Yeah. Oh, no. My God. You gotta my count, count how many go in your fucking. Re- you gotta. You can count to at least six. I. No. <laughs> well, he just as long as the holes filled. Yeah. Goes, yeah. I can fill in the holes. I can do that much. I can. He's I can, that a magazine trying to get that last one. When in? it comes to Does the mechanics, that's fine. But if you're asking me to actually count what how many cylinders are in there or whatever, he's not gonna know. <laughs> <laughs> Bullets empty. He opens the gun and just shakes it. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, I think Griglak would know how to count more than I would. <laughs> Griglak actually does. Um, yeah, so I put it. I put my shell, uh, counter in there. So I I have thirty rounds for my revolver and then twenty for my shotgun. Okay, okay. So yeah, you've 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 got your ammo. Where are you guys going next? You realize you don't have a lot of time. Um, no. Yeah, it's up to you. I'm following him because I, I don't know how to read and I don't get lost. Well, I know how to read, but like he knows how to do the signs better than me. So I just like basically I follow him because you know, he's pretty cool sometimes. Like sometimes when he's not cool. Who are you even talking to at this point? <laughs> I want to get that- some. I want to get some. Uh, fil- I want to get like a respirator or some filtration plugs. All right. Yeah. Uh, you find them at market rate in the stalls. All right. I'm just gonna get a respirator for twenty five. All right. For myself. And I'm just shaking my head at him as I'm smoking a cigarette. You're like these. <laughs> you're like these have filters in them. Yeah, I'm like basically I've got what I need right here. I mean, if if I've like, I've been gassed so much at this point, like I'm basically immune to it. Like you could, I mean, whatever gas you got, I can pretty much breathe it. I'm not, <laughs> so <afraid>. he's been <laughs> in so many like police raids. He's just <laughs> like, hey guys. <laughs> I, when it goes for, like, he's like, when I want spicy food, I just open one of these little grenade things up and just pour it out a little bit. <laughs> oh, my God. I knew a guy who did that with mace. Oh. oh that's horrible. <laughs> mace a burrito. Yes. Ooh. Yeah, oh. he was a CEO. Wow. Mm. All right, so. All right, that's all I wanted to do is just um, get the, because, like, I'm not going to go and ask too many questions about the paperwork yet, because I, I, I just learned the forms. I need to get some tenure before I can start <laughs> Actually making inquiries, even if the tenure is only like a week. Okay, that's that's. I know great. how I know how office politics work. Uh, oh, okay, okay. Um, next, let's let's do our favoritest man, our our brave mighty warrior, Mister Griglack. Son of Griglack. Son of Griglack. <laughs> so, oh my God, where are my notes? Shit. All right, so Griglack. Oh, what the fuck? What time is it? Oh, oh shut up! <laughs> now I'm sad. Um, Don't do it. Uh, yes. All right, so Griglack. Griglack here. Griglack, son of Griglack. You have tried many times to learn the wild ways of this new, untamed planet, with its strange, metalled roads, and its. Lights that burn at all times. And the great many vehicles that fly that have no wings. It is a confusing place, but Griglak knows how to feel at home. Griglak feels the call of the mighty warrior. Griglak knows he must kill and eat the flesh of the seabirds to gain their wisdom. Griglack, you find yourself on the roof of the watch station with a spear you have made out of a broomstick. What does Griglack want to do? Uh, Griglack scanned the horizon. All right, perception check. Uh, uh, 
Do, 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 do. Whoops, let me do it there. Let me get both of them. Oh, 88. All right. As you scan the horizon, you are blinded by the march <laughs> of technology, industry, and the various foul vapors that crawl from the big, tall stack things. Oh, pretty like uncomfortable. However, you see before you one of the seabirds in question. It is pecking at what appears to be an old sandwich. It seems unaware. Bring like charge. <laughs> All right, roll for it. Uh, Charges, remember, there's a plus to charge. We're learning. Yes, plus 20. And my weapon skill is 42. So it's going to get less than 62? Correct. Right? Uh... Oh dear. Grig like miss. Oh. As you try to I, spear the mighty bird. Oh, were you going to try a reroll? Uh, Grig like miss pretty bad. Oh. <laughs> 93. <laughs> you could try to reroll that if you wanted, but. Uh, is that like a fate point a day thing? Yeah, yeah it's, it's, it's a fate point. All right. Okay, Grig Lack reroll. And those reset each day, or how does it Yes, they, those reset every <laughs> session. <laughs> All right. Um, Grig Lack do worse. Zero, zero. Oh, no. <laughs> Grig Lack jump off building. Yeah. Really? <laughs> Holy shit. That's awesome. Okay, so as you try to <laughs> attack the bird with your homemade spear, it flies. And you grasp to catch it, to bring it to your maw, to devour it and learn its secrets. Instead, you find yourself jumping off the edge of the building. Can you give me an agility check to try to grab the ledge and please not fail? We could, like, have some skill that's relevant. We're like fall on us as we come back from market. <laughs> yeah. TPK. We could, like, have cat fall, thankfully, so that probably helps. Um... <laughs> Catfall means you'll probably survive if you fail the stability check. Oh boy, 78. <laughs> Griglock, Griglock jump off building Assassin's Creed style, <laughs> except no hay bale, just concrete. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let me roll some dice. I think rules is written falling damage is like D10 per meter or something brutal like that. Yes. However, he has cat fall. Okay, mm -hmm. <laughs> let me roll one last piece of dice here. <laughs> All right. Luckily enough, you only land on a parked visiting dignitary's car and totally collapse and tear through the roof. You take one point of fatigue damage and two points of hit point damage. You are sore and bruised. Your pants oh, are wow. torn, but you live. The car is totaled. So, where does this go? Oh, okay. no. Yeah, give yourself a point of fatigue. I I had a scatter dice for falling set up, and you barely avoided just hitting the ground and dying. <laughs> <laughs> so, oh, fatigue is threshold current. Okay, so one there. Yep, there. And then and for that, current hit right? points, uh, yeah, I'm giving you two. I'm you. You were very lucky. I you should have exploded on the concrete. <laughs> how far? Like how, how far did he fall? He fell three stories. How much is that in meters, approximately? <laughs> uh, stories three meters, three four meters. We're, we're so he point. fell like twelve. Yeah, that'd be like D ten plus seven to nine damage raw, which is yeah. pretty bad. Yeah, but I I, I probably wouldn't feel it. Yeah. It. Where Greg Black hit points? Um, your hit points should be up on the little calculator thing. Okay. Red black cushion fall with car. Yeah, and it's 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 uh, one of those cabriolet tops, you know, like the canvas <laughs> ones that are nice. Yeah, or was. What? So, instead of, <laughs> so instead of fifteen, I have fourteen. Thirteen. Oh, thirteen. Right. Griglack not remember that. Oh. Griglack, do you try to get out of this car as quick as possible to avoid problems? No, Griglack take time. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> As you guys come back from the market, 
<laughs> As you guys come back from one of my scatter dice was going to be he hits you guys. Um, <laughs> as you guys come back from the market and enter into uh, the compound, they let you in. And as you walk around to the side door, because the bay doors are closed for the vehicles, you notice a dignitary's car with the roof caved in. And what appears to be an officer of the Magistrata Mundane is slowly pushing his way out of it like a wounded animal. All right, I just looked at Ricky like, have you seen this? I'm like, hey, Gygax, you okay? <laughs> Griglack okay. Yeah, see, he's fine. <laughs> what? what? Griglack, what happened? Uh, Griglack I mean, I wouldn't be asking Iberly. questions. That sounds like a snitch to me. <laughs> uh, 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 okay. All okay. of you here, so. all, of, all of you here over the overhead. Delta shift, delta <laughs> shift to begin in 15 standard minutes. Be ready oh, for God, uniform and equipment now. inspection. <laughs> ah, crap. Okay, shit. Watch, yeah. Sergeant. Get your squad together. Repeat. Delta shift to begin in 15 standard minutes. What's a standard just... minute? 60 seconds. 60 standard seconds. Yeah, it's correct. All right, I'm just going to rush in, get my uniform ready, slide the... Backup piece into the small of the back holster or wherever, or ankle holster rather, and I'm ready. And so look like shit because it's like this 50 year old grandpa, skinny ass for fucker in the this uniform that just bags around the everything. Griglat can't find his stick. <laughs> well, your broomstick. <laughs> oh, that's that's how they're gonna find you. It's like oh, this car's broken and there's this spear lying around. <laughs> <laughs> you notice the. How, who could it be? Quick your, question, text. Yeah. Did I have an hour after I got that gun to myself? Yes. Then I I uh, lock it away into some hidden that hidden compartment underneath the box and put it in my locker, okay. locking it. Good I'm not going to keep it on me. You need to buy ammo for that thing. Yeah. Yeah, I'll, I'll get that later. But I'm just going to have the holster on me, but no gun in there. All right. I'll just be like it's a fairly heirloom. And that sort of stuff exists. It's fine. All right. So, um, all of you are putting your kit on, I assume, and proceeding to the briefing. Griglack needs stick first. Um, well, your broomstick that you made the spear into is missing currently. However, your beat stick, uh, is with your uniform and everything else in your locker. Griglack no have card with stick on it. I, I don't think I made a card. <laughs> Make a card. You gave him out last time, didn't you? It's not give, him the, give him the freedom spear. Oh, God. <laughs> so he just it's has... Good, it's, yeah. As long as it's assumed we have it. That's yes, fine. it is assumed yeah, you, yeah. you have your truncheon, except for okay. uh, one person does have a shock baton that they used correctly. Big luck, happy. Then. All right. So as you all assemble in the briefing room, Kelso gives you all an eye. He's just looking. He's like, alright, y'all y'all sit down. We just had the weirdest thing happen. I sit down okay. and fold my hands on my lap. I just stand behind the chair. Yeah, I'm, I'll yeah. just light a cigarette. Then Kelsa lights a cigarette and goes, yeah, man, something must fall off the roof and just destroyed this car, man. That's horrible, man. Imagine if someone had been in that. <laughs> Anyways... I got a bit of a pickle for you for this shift. Um, after y'all squashed the uh, Underhill gang, uh, they, they pulled back a bit. Day shift have been dealing with gangers trying to move in on their turf because they're afraid to show their heads. Uh, and they've collected a body count in the dozens except for Alpha Shift. They've managed to get away with doing nothing. But, you know, we've been busy. So uh, seeing as you guys handled last situation in an impressive manner, you're on point for a no-knock raid. We got oh. a gang fight about to spill over in a hab. There was supposed to be a battle of the bands. Uh, believe me, they just, these guys are weird. They're both off world groups. They were having a battle of the bands in this amphitheater and it spilled over. And now these two habs are fighting and we, we got one of them locked down. We're just gassing them, but we're out of gas. So you got to go into the other one and just sort those bastards out. And I mean, out. I don't want to see a single 
one of those bastards causing any trouble. I just want them done, okay? So, so no, uh, no prisoners. Well, I mean, I'm not telling you to just throw people off the building. I, I just make them stop, man. Jesus, stop throwing them off the building. Well, I mean, <laughs> oh my god! Why? How are we getting? Are we, are we requisitioning we any additional equipment for this assignment? He goes, no. Just take your vehicle and go sort it out. Oh, I've been practicing driving. It is invigorating. Kelso just things like, got their way without even I'm asking. I'm so glad that I got my certification for heavy weaponry. And he go and he fumbles and produces it. <laughs> so you've got it on paper. Yeah, of I got I driver's it's license. Here. Apparently, this is a thing. <laughs> Kelso's like, <laughs> wow. So, anyways, look. There's been no gunfire yet. They just keep spilling over into the street. I need it to stop. I need the block to be calm. Yeah, I'm in the back just slipping my gun. I'm like, yet? Can we mass produce sound waves that, uh, that calm the civilians? That's more Combs department. He's been feeding birds, man. I don't know what's into him. I, d I don't... He just... That's weird. I haven't seen birds in a while. <laughs> <laughs> Good luck, Steve. That's like a good thing. I don't know. Maybe birds are like, you know, a big problem. Now they're just gone because they decided to just leave. I mean, I don't know why any birds would just disappear. That'd be weird. <laughs> Can I do a size science check to make sure this isn't weird? <laughs> yes. Ooh, an 18. You detect no warp energy. No, nah, it's not weird. Well, not in the warp sense. Okay, not weird on my side of things. <laughs> <laughs> You're like not weird for me. It's always fucking weird. I gotta put over a Greek like. <laughs> How do you even breathe on your planet? Yeah, Kelso looks looks at Greg Lack and goes, "What happened to your pants, man?" Uh, Greg Lack have accident. <laughs> were you, were you almost hit by whatever fell off the roof? Uh, yes, yes I was. Man, you should go get yourself checked out. That sounds terrible. Thank you. I maybe I will. He goes, all right, and he points at the sergeant, and he goes, this guy's in charge. Oh, uh, one more thing. Uh, I have a uh, guy here. He says that Del we need to help help the Adeptus Administratum on a small minor thing that's also related to what's going on on this block. So uh, It starts taking notes. Yeah. So uh, Kelso brings this guy in, and he's 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 this just frail-looking guy. The robes are way too big for him. What? Say say again. Can I tell what his ranker department is? Check. Um, what would, what, what be... would be the check for that? Well, he. Uh, do you have? Stratum War. And exactly. I have that at a plus ten. I nope. Nobility and Underworld. Yeah. Creek. That's uh, on the. Everyone's end. a creek. That that's that's what we have written on like several of my skills is it's pretty core. I rolled a twelve, so assuming this is unmod, there's no modifier. I got three degrees of success. Yeah, you notice that not only is he an adept junior grade fourth step, you know that he has ten years of service in the Adeptus Administratum, and he is working for the planetary capital. So he's from Central Archives. So good to see someone from Central Archives that dropped by. How can we assist you? Uh, he goes, oh, oh, there's an there's an educated one among you. Oh, I I I I thought I would run into, mm, mm, you know, um, any points at Ricky. <laughs> I'm just smoking, and I I go. <laughs> he goes, um, yes, um, most uh, th th there was an error as as you know in 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 paperwork, uh, a rather generous series of errors stemming from Central Archives. We're, we're trying to correct all of them. Um, there was a small problem. Um, there, there was a, um, uh, well, there was an elderly man who was supposed to go in, as you know, part of his retirement. Uh, he, he did not indicate, um, if, 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 if he wanted to, to, you know, um, live on in, incapacitated in the, uh, generous chair we provided in his benefits. Um, or be a servitor. So we were sending him in to be a servitor as, as part of the paperwork, and there, there was a mix-up. And he has been significantly augmented. And we we need you to 
bring him in, or the parts. The parts belong to someone else. We we need. It was an accident. The mechanicus will do anything that's on paper. And I, yes. Um, okay. What are what is a, what is this man's description, and what are the nature catalog of these parts? He he produces a sheaf of parts, and you recognize this guy has been <laughs> put together with heavy duty load lifting parts. Like hydraulic, yes. Like, hy- yep. Okay. Okay. So we have an elderly street samurai that we need to arrest or uh, or kill and pull out any of his parts as we can. Uh, yes, that, 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 yes. Sorry, um, the mechanicus said no do overs. Um, they they were very frank. They 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 listed a, a litany of all, all sorts of things. Um, they 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 told me that if I spoke for more than thirty seconds, they would um, brand me. So I left. But yeah, I was, I'm in charge of branding. Oh oh dear. And he seems like he's like fidgeting. You know, he's he's yeah. just he's 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 actually quite terrified to be here. We will do whatever we can to recover this man and his parts. Thank 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 you thank you. So unless so it there. interferes with our primary objectives. Well, right, Sergeant. I I make I, no promises. <laughs> he he just looks nervous and he goes, oh oh my oh the senior archivist Don't you is worry. going. <laughs> we'll bring him in. We'll bring him in. <laughs> Oh god, and you're just gesturing with a gun? Yeah, no, I'm I'm always flipping it in the background. Right? Yeah, so he's he goes, "Oh, the senior archivist will be most cross if if you could handle this for us and make this fixed. I'm sure the senior archivist, he is he's a good man, just a bit overworked, but he oh, he, he would be <laughs> so generous." Can, can I can think of no, a way no, that we can repay or that we can use that generosity. But it all dep- but it shall be done as the emperor wills. Yes, yes. Um, I, I'm sure that senior archivist Groves would be most most thankful. Fucking god! Fuck. You know what? Can I cast distort vision on this guy? <laughs> He's not Groves. <laughs> Groves is the boss. Oh, okay, okay. I I just have a question. So this guy. Blind that guy. <laughs> so you're saying this guy's a senior hivist? I, I was from a hive world. You no, know. I, no, I, I no, no questions. No questions. Because I'm being considered a hive uh, elder on a hive world. Yeah, you we, are. We have, we, we have to go. We have to go where? We have to go to the respond to the disturbance. I just look over <laughs> at this. I look over at, at uh, deputy's character. I'm like, I don't. I don't remember you having the super badge and the great I, sword. I am. <laughs> <laughs> you must be Gary. He's had it since since the big time. <laughs> I've had it since before the bank. I brought that from the start of the scenario. From his yeah. world. <laughs> I am I, I'm, watching I'm basically my watch. follow this guy wherever. <laughs> and oh. at exactly the start of shift. Reveille! <laughs> oh. Point to the fucking trucks. I don't know what that means. <laughs> He's done it like four times now. What does it mean? <laughs> it means, uh, Ricky, you know, he's your best friend. What's he saying? <laughs> oh, he's basically saying, like, you know, go out and get the dope. I mean, that's okay, basically okay, what we're going to do. Get some dope. Yeah, I, yeah, I, where are the keys? I heard the vehicles have keys. I, I don't know. I've never driven a car before. From my pocket. Can I, can I have the keys? You must first prove to me that you have been licensed. I have a license. <laughs> I do have a license. I took it a like hand them over. Out. It doesn't look like me because I took a bad picture. <laughs> <laughs> this is it's, up. it's clearly Shanks' license, and you're just holding your thumb over the top of it. <laughs> here, 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 see. And I, right. I, yes. I, I hand you the keys. Do not lose these. I was provided only to fun. I, you got it. I got the keys. Oh my god! All right. Hey, I think we're gonna need to get a grenade Shanks launcher license. on this one. What? What? We're gonna need grenade to get a grenade launcher, launcher on this one because we're gonna be rolling up. I mean, I've seen this happen all the time. You got all these people like in a party and stuff, and you have a car come in and it just has like a little thing and just boom, 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 and basically people start melting. I mean, that takes care of the problem in itself. You just like call in a garbage truck and they just take. Well, care of the it rest. will only take you about three months of wages to save up for one. Yeah, uh, Kelso. Kelso goes. I'm not just, paying for that. Just go do it, man. <laughs> just go do it. I have hey, to go. Kelso, you want to come? No. Right, I start. Okay. I start shoving people <laughs> towards the truck. We really like to bring in other people, as you can see what happened. In- <laughs> Kelso, if I see any dope, I'll, I'll hook you up, man. Shut up! <laughs> <laughs> as, as, you, uh, as you pass by the armory on the way, 
you notice as you pass by the armory oh, no. on the way, there is a placard no birds. over the armory door. There was a what? The music kind uh, of a placard. A placard over the door. What does the placard say? Goat's gonna have to roll to decipher. Zero one one zero one. It's, is it just high gothic? It's not just high gothic. It's oh, a mixture okay. of things. Okay, I rolled a eleven. So unless that's like a minus forty, I pass. You notice some of it is in Technolingua. Yeah, there's no way I'm gonna get that. However, out loud. in the middle of Technolingua is ASCII art of him feeding birds. <laughs> feeding birds? Curious. I haven't seen any birds. If you say the words out loud, my guy can decipher it. I have linguistics. Yeah, but Technolingua is... I can't is, read. Yeah, Technolingua is <laughs> machine code. So yeah. that's that's the Mechanicus language. Which yeah, he, he speaks binary. Oh, yeah. okay. It's like coded it binary. binary. It's like, you, that's his primary language. I'm sure you can count to zero and I, one. I was going <laughs> to, maybe, I was going to ask you as a, a, a DM question about yeah. the shotgun. I noticed that it only does two, uh, 1d10 plus 2, but the pistol does 1d10 plus 3. Yes, that's Is that per barrel. Oh, per barrel. Okay, I see. So, <laughs> which the, is why I was deleting grid codes with four barrels. I I see. No, no. I I was just because it doesn't really say that. That's why I'm just. Yeah. All right. right. Go digs. Go is this goat singing? No. No. It sounds a lot <laughs> like song, goat. This track sucks. Why? But you sound oh. like that. I'm not saying the song's good. I'm just saying it sounds like your voice. I'll it's get better Mechanicus music. Random. This is what it's I have. like a random fucking throaty male voice with a mediocre level microphone. Yeah, you. Yeah. <laughs> it's, like, it's like everyone thinks like I'm the guy that sings Bomber and Leslie Fish's uh, albums. It's like, no. Yeah. That guy recorded that before it was born. It's crazy to think. Second life, man. Yeah. But no, the um, I'll, I'll find better Mechanicus music. I'm probably going to take it I'll from the Mechanicus some. game. No, I'm going to take it from the Mechanicus game. Ooh, it's, that's a good album. It is. That's probably the only good thing about it. Um, yeah. 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 It's the rest of it's like XCOM, but the slog. Not, yeah, it's. I just the only thing I didn't like about it uh, was that every single like there's only there's three or four upgrades you have to get and it just makes you brokenly overpowered. Every single tech breeze gets it. Yep. So, at any rate, you, you climb in the vehicle, you start the engine, and you're away to your designated grid coordinates. Tonight, the Vox oh is, nearly, is nearly quiet. Seems like people are staying in. Probably because the weather forecast indicates it's going to hail. So, as people close up shops, Mr. Dig driving check. What is that again? Agility? Yep. Yep. Oh boy! I'm if not you have the driving that. skill, if not, it's under half. Oh no, I have the driving skill. Okay, I'm just making sure. You said you had an ID. Oh, oh, oh. Uh, I rolled a 45. My agility is 37. I failed. Ooh, that's one degree of failure. As you pull up to the building, you manage to miss the brake and drive into the wall. <laughs> Look at me, oh. go. <laughs> you're, you're like. <laughs> You're like, toot toot, I'm a motorist. <laughs> Wait, do you stop? <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm 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 in the commander hatch just like regally with the hat belted down with the chin strap. And I feel a tug on my pant leg and he's like, fast the break. <laughs> <laughs> I hear, but it's not stopping. <laughs> I I just imagine like the second you hit the wall, you're not even phased, deputy, it's just the debris hits you and you go. <laughs> Well done. <laughs> <laughs> we are here. <laughs> we have made arrived. It. All right. So <laughs> you notice that as you pull up at the building, there are various bodies in the street that looks like people have been pummeled and just given up and given into the sleep. There are people ah, running. The Charlie shift has arrived. Yeah, the, you you find that uh, people are beat up here and there, trying to limp away. You see the hab block in front of you. It's an excellent example of brutalism, and you hear blaring music, perhaps of a triumphant band, and horrible, horrible fighting on the top floor. 
All right. Delta calling G-17 over. G-17, Delta, go ahead. We have arrived at the site of the disturbance, and we are moving to suppress a disturbance. Over. G-17 to Delta. G-17 to Delta. Uh, Delta here. Yes, G-17. Proceed at best caution. Backup unavailable. Uh, acknowledged. G-17, central net clear. Clear out, Delta. So, um, as the Vox winds down, you hear in the distance Charlie being called out to, quote, sort something with a labor union. We're, we're on our own for this one. <laughs> but um, if, if something happens, I can still call them, even if we're away from the vehicle. Excellent. Um, sh should I get the big gun out, Sergeant? What equipment do we have on this truck? You what have, kind of ammo do we have on this truck? Well, ammo, you have several boxes of pistol ammo. Um, let me actually get open the uh, the full kit, because you guys haven't inspected this yet, and you may be delightfully surprised. Yeah, I just need to, I need to pocket a box of forty five. Uh, it's let's... not not Magistrata Mundana standard. Nope. So let's see. Thank God there is search. All right. So you guys are just tearing open the boxes, right? Mm -hmm. All right. The vehicle has a winch, searchlight, sirens, laud hailer, toolboxes, promethium canisters, medikit, snorkel kit, bash bar, two <laughs> spare tires with wheel, tire jack, jack, shovel, smoke grenade discharger, vox caster. Riot shields, grenades, tear gas, grenades, flashbang, chain, multi-purpose, ladder, fire axe, fire extinguisher, and a medic kit. I'm putting my respirator on. No guns. Oh no, there is the armory. I, I also, could, is there a place where we can see all these th items um, that we can read over throughout the game? Uh, n yes, I will make that available next game. All right, thank you. Just as like a cheat sheet for the vehicle, like what's in it, mm -hmm. and I'll put all yeah, that yeah, on yeah. it. Yeah. In the vehicle locker, you find two of the Type 28 heavy repeaters, a.k.a. the Colt Monitor, and you find two of the Magna Quad Bore shotguns, plus four boxes of ammo for each. I'm what kinds of Colt ammunition? Monitor. You know what? Go ahead and roll me your uh, firearms to check to see if you can decipher what they've loaded in these. <laughs> You've got your mask, goat. Nobody said why was until I put on the mask. That's that's. <laughs> yeah, I, I did not go get my respirator. Don't throw up I in your respirator. A Draeger M sixty five. Nice. I decided that was a little bit too fucking uh, meme. -y. Well, for a Krieger, I would understand on occasion, just to feel like home. All right. 57, my ballistic is 47, so that's a fail. You are working... cottage cheese. Yeah, you know they are bullets. No, um, they look military grade. Can I, okay. can I roll my ballistics on that? Yes. Uh, I got a 42, and, that, and that's way under my ballistics. All right. You know that in the magazines for the heavy repeater is Armor Piercing Incendiary Tracer? It has been issued to the PDF, and for some reason it showed up in your armory. All right. Uh, have you told <laughs> me that's what kind that is? Yes. I, I tell you okay. exactly what they are. My my guy doesn't I understand take numbers. A marker and I read. begin marking magazines A P I T. <laughs> yeah. All right. Um, <laughs> yeah. My character cannot read and cannot understand, but he can recite exactly what caliber they are and what they can do. Just like to the textbook definitely. Yeah, because yes. he is street smart in the extreme. <laughs> yes. So, so the shotgun shells are marked. Uh, you recognize them from the squeeze and the shake, because <laughs> yeah. you know, yeah, they are filled with iron filings, and they are designed to blow doors apart, comma other things too. <laughs> yeah. So basically, any anything that's in our way will no longer be there if you fire this at anything. Okay, so I, you I write breach sir. on the box. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I was using frangible breaching rounds to kill rat men. Yes. <laughs> That's why it's been doing so, so good. good. <laughs> uh, okay. So, no less than lethal ammunition then. 
There is tear gas. We'll grab the flashbangs, the tear gas, and the shield. And, and I can identify the tear gas by just going, yeah, that's just some standard stuff. <laughs> You're like, when the guys Run used flat. to come into my hive, they used nerve gas. <laughs> we called it dance gas. Now, the the riot shield, does that include a riot stick? Uh, No. No. Okay. Oh, standard truncheons? Tr- standard truncheons. I do truncheons. have a shock lance. Wait, or shock we, mace. What if you give that to Gr- Griglack and let him use his spear? Griglack, look at Smashing Griglack Mark. Become oh my God. I, I have a I have a shock maul I stole from the guy who died. Yeah. <laughs> from Shank. Yeah. I don't do melee weapons very well, so I would love to give that to Griglack if he needs a good melee weapon. Griglack, thank all right, give All right. It. Don't hand Griglack the don't shield. Don't the end. <laughs> oh my god. Do not lick top. In no front. lick top. Yeah, no lick top. You have to give him the card because I don't have it anymore since oh, we reset Magic the table. Sword. Ma- it's, uh, it's, it's a shock mace. You hit someone, they explode. Magic sword. <laughs> <laughs> right. Maybe, you know, he already had a mate. He already had a sword. He doesn't need one. All right, all right. One <laughs> magic sword. Okay, one moment. Really a great gift. All right. Um, anything else on the truck? Do we use it to place? protect me. Go. We can't hear you in that thing. One second. I have to make the magic sword. I want the, I want the cult monitor. All right. So we are we on site where? Yeah, we're in front of the building. They're watching. Where us we need to go, go, right? <laughs> Yeah, you you are you are. Uh, hold on, quote magic sword. <laughs> I say magic wand. This is sword. this feels like due process right now. <laughs> <laughs> Great uh, game though. As yeah. I'm watching them kind of fiddle around with things, I figured my ammo wouldn't be in there because it's not standard. Nope. Uh, I will. I want to like a subtly. Well, I'll I'll do an invocation roll first just to see if it helps me out a little bit. What are you looking for? Um, I'm well. I'm, I'm getting ready to use an ability if I can invoke. First. All right, fire away. I'm gonna roll to see. I'm gonna roll this if I can invoke invocation. I have a plus ten on that now. I rolled a four, so I think that totally works. Yeah, that would have been a really good roll for the other one. I'm yeah. going to cast. Uh, I'm gonna. Well, I don't know if it's called casting, but I'm gonna use sense presence. Nice, nice. Okay. You you know that there are a bunch of people up on the top floor, and they are having a banging good time beating the shit out of each other. I think there's I, a I, fight club going on. <laughs> I just realized something, Tex. Yeah. You know that song we both hate that sounds beautiful in the beginning, and then it goes in the dubstep? This would have been the perfect moment for it. I have Aww. something worse. <laughs> oh, okay. Then you're good. I was just gonna say we we were. Can we get for... the music volume just a touch low? You can actually go into yeah. music player and slide that over. Oh, yeah, me, cool. Me and Tex. Yeah, I assume that was going through your mic. No. And we we found this song that was just like. Yeah, we found a song for Text Talks BattleTech, and it started off beautifully, and we we're like, "Oh, this is going to be so great!" And then, like forty-five seconds in, it goes, wah, 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 it was and it was perfect. We were like, "This is the song!" And then it went like it just step. destroyed. We were just shocked <laughs> more than anything. Like what? it was, it was like someone baking a beautiful cake and then frosting it with shit. <laughs> it was, it was a, it on the ground. It was offensive. It was offensive. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Anyway, sorry. All right. So I only got so I only got two degrees of success. So it's seventy meters. I can sense every living thing. Yep. You you know there's a bunch of fucking people up there, and they they are. It looks like they're having a fight. You you see people just tussling and stuff. They yeah, all of you just see like black eyes smoke coming out of my eyes, going, huh. <laughs> it's is he normal? He's he's staring off into the void, intently, and you feel the air get a little colder around you as it does. <laughs> I can I can sense you're snapping in front of me because <laughs> you're a living you, like, creature. Swat my hand away. Like, uh, However, so so you're the boss now, right? Uh, Bod yes. Rig, Rig Brock, Brock Victor von Fact Vic. Yes. All right. There seems to be some kind of fight club going on on the second floor. Not really much on the bottom. Top floor. This is like a hab block, right? Like yeah. stories or something crazy. Yeah. Named yeah, Peach uh, Tree. 
No. Yeah, I'm, I'm just I'm telling you that all the activity I'm seeing is on the second floor. However, okay. you hear it shouting, and you see a window smash open, and a body hits the street right in front of you. Oh. Well, so that's just wait, one mess that we have to do. I don't want to wait. One of, one of the things I was sensing disappeared. Maybe it's... Because it stopped being alive. <laughs> <laughs> so, as the window breaks, you hear distantly. Oh, no! <laughs> oh, I love this song. <laughs> I immediately, like, I, I get my weapon ready. I'm like, we're taking this shit Yeah, I down. just rack yeah, the browning. <laughs> I grab flash in the left hand and gas in the right, as many as I can fit in my pockets. Okay. Let's say you can take and five the right of these. shield. All right. So you guys are going up to the top floor to fucking just pound in the stairs, like yeah. going up like there. Can I, busters. can I be a major <laughs> asshole? I'm going to use haywire on the sound system. <laughs> okay. It'll probably make it sound better. <laughs> yeah, it turns onto a better song. It starts playing Mariah Carey, uh, and they all fucking go nuts and start killing each other. It's Vivaldi. If it matches, does that mean it passes or no? If you yeah. if you meet it, yeah. Okay, All right, because it rolled fifty six. My willpower is fifty six. Okay. Oh, thank God. Oh, much better. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and you hear him yelling. <laughs> <laughs> this is your soundtrack for your fight, gentlemen. I am the guy in the farthest back. Okay, stand by and get ready. Days. Here's Laws's handiwork. Uh oh. Give it a second. <laughs> Whoa, nice. This is nice. All right. Uh, I want you guys to choose which stairwell you're coming up at. Since this is the top floor, this is a sheer ledge that's waist high. Anything that should fall over there is not going to live. Griglack. <laughs> <laughs> Um, I'm thinking we do fire teams. I'll go with the Sarge. I'm the heavy weapons guy here. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Somebody's having trouble with a token. Psych your stuff. <laughs> Sorry, I, I get overexcited. How small are we? Uh, that's about the right size. It doesn't really matter so much, as long as they're all roughly the same size. So... The sound system... is cranked from over here. As you hear this wonderful music. Nice. One moment. Alright, there are two groups of people... that have broken away from each other... at seemingly the same time. In addition to these people... Oh, come on. They do have guard dogs. One group is yelling at the other that their music sucks. The other group is yelling back, so does yours. These are obviously your warring parties. The dogs are barking. The music is blaring because both sides hate this music. Diggs, you did this. They can't prove that. However... <laughs> For legal reasons, that was a joke. <laughs> they are unaware of you at the moment. Uh, I'm, go the other stairwell. A, I'm just setting up a firing position here across, so I can blast them across the stairwells. <laughs> okay. Was there a megaphone in the truck? Yes, Lot Haler. Yeah. Okay. I grabbed that as well. Yes. All right. All right, everyone get into position. You may get into position because you have the drop on them. This is clear across the stairway shaft, right? Yep. It's just like waist high. Yep. So anyone on the other side of that has half cover. Yep. All right. I think the best I can do, yeah. All right, deputy, read it. I All sit right, down I pull back up to this quick. wall. Just let you know that I sit down my back to the wall. Okay. Oh, I'm not on my side of the table. That's why I couldn't find it. 
Oh shit, I did the same thing you did. Where am I? <laughs> By order of our most cautious and lawful magistrate, all persons being assembled are hereby ordered to disperse peaceably to their habitations or lawful place of business. Under penalty of pain and the most furious displeasure of some magistratum mundanus. Well done. They all turn to face you. And they produce- The wrath of their god Kaiser is upon you! <laughs> who flees and who shall I cut down? <laughs> they all start to produce weapons. Roll for initiative. <laughs> yes! God, this is like something out of one of those old eighties movies where it's like this movie this <laughs> that's music's like music. Yeah, this that's a music while we're all fucking shooting each other. Yes, I love eighties movies. Is initiative one dice or two? It is one D ten plus your agility bonus. Uh, an agility bonus is the first number? Yeah, it's a ten digit. Or the hundreds and tens digit if you somehow get into the okay. hundreds of a stab. Griglet get fourteen. Right. Yeah. I get eight. Alright. Alright, so wait, how what do I do? Roll one D ten plus again. your agility bonus. That's the first digit of your agility. Okay. Oh I see. Yeah, I got nine. Alright. He gets twice as really good, so he, uh... Oh yeah, yeah that's Mike, right, because he's... Yeah, thank Mike's, you. Yeah, so technically, you. what was your what was your flat roll? Oh, my flat roll was a five. Right, but he's your agility... Yeah, so, plus twice your agility bonus. Yes. So, what is your agility bonus? If it was plus twice, that'd be eight. Your agility yeah, so bonus is only two? Values. No, no, nope. his initiative bonus is four. He, he rolled a five plus four plus four. His initiative is thirteen. Okay. Thank you. Let's. I'm sorry, that was just confusing. No, it's okay. We're learning. We're learning together. Listen to the happy music. <laughs> All right, Griglag, you're up. Uh. I guess Griglag will run down there. Though I'm gonna get shot. To death, I'm pretty sure. Uh, you could always try to kick these doors in and dive in. Eh, that's no fun. Um, so have we determined that all of them are getting an ass whooping, I assume? I believe oh, so. Oh, yeah. Okay, very well. We gave okay. them their chance. All right. Um, Greg Lack will run to the bigger group. I will just run, which is whoops. That's you don't want to run, because that makes it easy for them to beat you up in melee. Uh, well, it's going to take me a while to get there, right? It's my run. You could, you could just grab the grenade from Deputy's bubble and just eat it at them. This at place them. is that big? I can go like three inches. So my run is 24. Shit, my, the gun keeps falling through the table. Oh god, oh, no, no, it's in the air. 15. There you go, goat. Thank you. 20. 20. So I can run to, like, there. I'm gonna handle these guys as mobs. Like, they're all gonna go together, so we don't have yeah. to juxtapose eight Wait different... Wait for it, yeah. yeah. If you're doing the only war thing, you can just have them do one roll, and then it's exactly. just a plus five per extra guy, and it's one hit per degree success. They get, because they're all fucking last. I, I know, I, I read it that. I, I thought yeah. that would be wise. Yeah. Greg Black, son of Greg Black. Ready to die honorably. <laughs> so he's running out He'll with his fine. magic sword. Bzz, 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 well, just and the riot shield, right? Greg Lack, you'd grab yeah. that from me. The magic sword, sword the shaman gave me, and the uh... <laughs> a shaman. It's <laughs> creepy powers. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And did you grab the riot shield? Yes. Okay. Good. You'll need it. <laughs> and before he gets shot through the jaw. <laughs> oh. Watch that be our thing for this game. Everyone gets shot in the jaw. <laughs> Everyone lifts the jaw. Ah! <laughs> I'm a here. <laughs> ah! <laughs> Should have taken an oh. Dude, yeah, I was just thinking about that. All right. Uh, next is gonna be Mike. Okay. Yeah, you're gonna have uh, to close range. This is a big place. Yeah, but I, I'd need cover. There's no way I'm going to be able to take them out in the open. You could try to kick a door in. 
is CM, right? Our grid? Yeah, this is all on the grid. Wait, what am I measuring? Mine's showing this is only like 10. Alright. You know, this is the better against... Is it inches? My yeah. My better judgment? Do you inches. can talk all between inches and grid. Like, I... I would not do this, but because okay, this is my character, I am going to do that. But I already know in my head that this is a very bad idea. And that is, I'm going to kick a door in and, and use it as like, I'm going to dive in. And anything, oh. that's, anything that's in the way that I don't like, I'm going to shoot at them. Okay. So I'm going to go to, I don't know how far I can run, though. Well, it's on your sheet. Yes, I know. Yep, so it's run. You can run 24. Run 24. Thank you. <laughs> that was what? flick, not measure. Are so we using good. inch or grid? Let's use inch. Okay. I don't even know where my guy went. I think I launched him away. Oh, no. Yeah, he's over here somewhere. Well, if you're using inch, I could, I could probably get close enough to shoot them. There he is. But that's your full action. Yeah. It's right here. I was not going to back though. I'm going to, yeah, I'm going to run into... Also, this is a one-inch grid, so it doesn't matter. Uh, I was going to say, it seemed like it was about the same. Yeah, I'm going to go to this one to use it as cover into this apartment. All right. Let me roll. The door is unlocked, thankfully. Is your foot... Is your foot... Wow. As your foot hits the door, it splinters and kicks open. And inside you find a little old lady watching a broadcast and praying. Yeah, Aww. I just immediately... I, I'm like... Uh, hold on, I'm like... Uh, I just say, like, Match Mustard and Medium! Yeah. And I, uh, like, I, I look out the door. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Because he's, like, full of adrenaline, so he just doesn't say anything correctly. And so, Magimustum Mustard Mundranium. Got it. Yes. Yeah. Okay. So I'm using this... He's I'm casting using, a spell. <laughs> I'm using this as cover. All right. Uh, even though you can't, even though the door is closed, I'm 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 there. Okay. Cool. Okay. Next, let's go down the list. Uh, next is gonna be goat. Rolling suppressing fire on the group on the right. I'm rolling against a twenty-seven here. All right. I rolled a. 52, so I miss, but the point is they have to roll a little power minus 20 to keep their, I know. Keep their heads down. Which group? The one on the right. The one uh, off uh, this one over here. Okay. They rolled a 72. They yeah. fail badly. They all hit the ground. <laughs> That's excellent. It's my turn. Sorry, I'm marking these guys are suppressed. Yep. Okay. Next. You you just you rattle off half the magazine and they just dive. Oh, there's a gun under the table, Mister Diggs. Hi. I'm going to let's see. So these are all suppressed. Yeah, they all. He's dove. in there. He's running up. I'm assuming Victor Vaughn is also running up. I haven't uh, taken uh, my action yet. Oh, I'm just seeing you over there. And. Whoever this person is. Oh Who's shit! I, I forgot to place a model. Sorry. Oh come on. Sorry. Th there's this guy in the back. Uh, he looks like the gang leader. Forgot to place that guy. Um, he also. Oh, he does look like. Yeah. Okay. He, he he looks like the gang leader. Um, let's just say he emerged from one of these rooms as he heard the confrontation come up. He appears to be armed differently. Armed different. Let me just verify range. Ooh, beautiful. I would like to cast Spasm on him. <laughs> oh, all right. <laughs> because he has a, what seems like, a flamer on him. <laughs> okay, roll for it. All right, let's do this. Uh, I'm going to use a... Fate. Fate point to reroll that bullshit. Oh shit, that's even worse. Uh, how much worse? Super bad. It's I rolled it. a. Wait, wait. How does? So this is what I don't get. 
So my to cast spasm, I need a be a seven. What does seven mean? Eight. Because I thought I thought you roll like your, your roll. psi rating dice plus something else. It's it's your psi rating in d tens plus your okay. willpower power bonus. So you and have you to can determine how much to roll them all. Yeah, you can choose not to roll them all. So you're it, just go ahead and re-roll since I'm about to say because I'm I'm really confused because. I thought I had to roll some kind of willpower test to, to invoke stuff, or is that not a thing? That depends on the ability. Because some stuff is sustained, and some stuff is has a threshold to just manifest. Okay, well, alright. Uh, but I say, I don't need much, considering I already have a lot. So, 7, 4, and 1, that oh. totally beats it, considering it's a 7. Fuck, Plus spasm. my will. So, that's... I beat it by... It says for every five points you exceed, you threshold you affect a different creature? Yes, you can affect so multiples. Seven. So with my Cyrating of three, that gives me two two people I affect with that. Okay. So I'll hit the, I'll hit the Flamer guy and uh, the shot the auto gun guy in behind these three. Fuck, you're making my job hard. <laughs> All right, one second. <laughs> Ah, uh, let me calculate this. I, I don't have the template. I need a template, I know. I'll get a flamethrower template next time. Or I can worsen the difficulty willpower test by one step. So I'll just do the flamer guy and just make it one step harder. Well, he just rolled a 99, so <laughs> that doesn't matter. Um, Everyone in this... <laughs> All right. Is, okay. As this starts, you see Richard City, if that is his real name, go diving and kick a door in and go, My destroyed a mustard mama. And, and then you see the adept, frail old man, start laying in. These guys hit the ground over here. And then you see Griglack run out to charge, just charging with his magic sword and shield, banging them together, getting the sparks going, <laughs> invoking the fury of his of his people and the magic sword that was gifted to him by the shaman. And then, all of a sudden, the gang leader turns, twitches, and sets everyone on fire. The dogs go up with a woof and a howl. They are running around, blazing and smoking and yipping. Two guys turn and turn into ash. This guy also gets caught, and he turns towards his boss, and he's like, Why? And and, and, and the guy with the flamethrower is just like, He can't control it. Outright, everyone hit by the flamethrower is now deceased. And then I'll sit back down against the wall. <laughs> and for my other half action, I will pull out my gun. <laughs> Alright, there's one guy that is... Just the Magnum one. <laughs> there's one guy definitely on fire. The rest have, like, jumped back. Um, wow. Quick, like, charge dragon. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this is becoming an adventure story for Griglack. <laughs> <laughs> he goes back with completely normal shit. <laughs> I fought dragon with magic sword. <laughs> They'll bird from sky. <laughs> oh, man. All right, deputy. This is turned into stupid, and I like it. Uh, with this group, it always was going to be. Much like Deltard Green. Oh, that was a wonderful game. I, I very much enjoyed DMing that. All right. <laughs> All right. Um, so I'm going to mirror Mike's action, but I'm going to go through this window right here. Okay, so you're going to dive. Give me an agility test to dive through the window, please. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Getting spicy. My agility sucks. I am not as strong as you. I, I was going to go with the window. I'm like, yeah, nah, it's, it's, it's athletics. Can't. It's sorry, not agility, athletics. That's a, that's a 48. I got athletics. Okay, I do not have athletics ticked. Oh, so here's what happens. You run up, <laughs> yeah. you do your charge, and you bounce off the window, and you land next to Griglack. <laughs> All right. <laughs> you realize the window... behind the shield? Yeah, yeah, I'll let you do that. Yeah, you're just like, huh, and it's like, clang, 
punk, and then like get up behind the shield and act like that's what you were doing. Well, you know, I'm gonna, Yura? What's what's your guy's name, Goat? Uri Uriah. I'm gonna look over to Uriah. It's like, man, these guys are weird. <laughs> <laughs> oh, As I'm just sitting against the wall. All right, and we start over. But hold on, let me see if these guys get up. 84 bullshit. All right, they're still crawling around. Yeah, just un okay, this guy, he's got to put himself out. Please put himself out. Please put himself out. Please. No. 74. <laughs> he's like there's more fire. No. Yeah. Yeah, so he he's screaming why? The guy with the flamethrower is apologizing profusely. He's like, I'm sorry, it just happened. <laughs> he's like, you know, when you yawn, do the stretch and the twist, I'm sorry, just roll. And so he's trying to put himself out, and he's he's running this way. All right, these other two guys are, are running into cover. This guy is running into cover here. This guy's running over to his boss. I was about to say, his boss needs to spend an, a stand action to get up, doesn't he? No, the boss is fine. Well, kind of. You'll see. Okay. All right, so. Let's see. Uh, Griglack. The flames have subsided. You see smoking <laughs> dog carcasses. A mighty dragon has bellowed. How do you answer the charge? Um. Hmm. And tell me if the music starts to get grating. So we can always turn it down a little bit. On our end. Must, can I adjust the, the, the station a little bit? Oh. <laughs> You're just uh, fucking with him now? You're like... Just like... What would Griglack do? That needs to be a bracelet. Oh, yeah. Instead of live strong, what would Griglack do? I'm sure this is not a good idea. <laughs> I will. <laughs> I will just keep running. <laughs> you are in flamethrower range. Yeah, I know. Don't worry, a dragon needs to roll a five or a six to get his fire back. <laughs> <laughs> I feel confident that the magic sword and shield will uh, protect me. Oh, okay. Godspeed. Godspeed, mighty great light. The Emperor protects. One second. I have to look up. All right. Cool. I got the weapon capacity right. I was worried I hadn't. Okay. Let's see. Next up is going to be Goat. No, sorry, Mike. Yeah, give me one second. The, the lady Mike. is sli starting to rise, and her arms are all shaking. She's putting her weight under, and she's like, Are you the mailman? <laughs> and I'm like, What? <laughs> 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 Because he's, he's, like, full of adrenaline. He's ready to do this. Uh, he, he, she holds out a letter. I have something for my grandson. All right, yeah, just show me where the fucking dope is later. I got something to do real quick. And then I'm going to do... Uh, okay, so I can move at full rates and do one attack. Okay, cool. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to run out to about here for cover. And then I'm going to shoot with both my weapons braced against this wall. Oh, okay, so you're yeah. going to max paint it sideways. Yeah. Yes. And shoot at who? Um, I'm going to shoot at this direction. Okay, uh, where, you're going to try to land the, hits on the group. Got it. Yeah, because I, I, like, I'm guessing like whoever the bullets hit, it's up to you as a DM. I'm just going to shoot. All right, fucking roll for it. I mean... Yeah, let's see. It. Yeah. Gonna... Because of your stats, I'll say it's even. I'm gonna I'm gonna re-roll that. I'm gonna use a fate. I should have reset. I got three fate, right? Or just two? I think I got three, right? Where does it say? Uh, it should be on your calculator. You have well, no, looks no, no. like two. Well, no, because I didn't change it from last session. Oh, then you have three. Okay. Yeah. So then I'll just burn that. Just leave it at two. Yeah. Uh, I'll burn that. Burn or use? Use. Sorry. Okay. Thirty-six. So, that's way under my ballistic. Okay. Sweet. So, shit, that is two hits. One moment. Hell yeah, brother. I, yeah, I'm firing both. Keep in mind, I have the double barrel shotgun that when I fire, it fires both barrels. And Read the full the description on that double barrel shotgun. I know, I know. It, you, 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 you have to brace it or it flies from your hand, but thankfully it has a lanyard. 
N- yes. No, not, so not it's, only that, I braced it on that wall. Yeah, but I'm just saying it's funny. They expected that. It's like, boom! But it, then yeah. it just tugs like a Wii oh. remote, you know? Oh, I yeah. like it. I would like, you know the lanyards with the little thing when you scan it, it goes right back like, shit! Oh, like, like a with, like a key card. Yeah. Yeah. I like, think I, brace I is half an action, like, though. Yeah, yeah brace, brace does require an action, though. Oh, I see. Read right. the big chart. Read the big chart? Over In here. In the corner. Oh, I can't look up that high. You're like a dog. <laughs> yeah. I'll can't see the ceiling. <laughs> All right, I got it up. Let's see here. Brace heavy brace. weapon or just brace. That's a half action. Okay. Because I can, yeah. Unless right. your guy hits the gym, then you can just like, Arnold, you know? All right. And just like hold a bolter in one hand and be like. <laughs> All right, I won't fire the shotgun this time, but I will fire the, the heavy revolver. So let's say you fire it twice. Okay, yeah, I'll fire that twice. Okay, cool. Uh, go ahead and roll hit location dice. Sure. Uh, I hit the uh, right arm. All right, with next. The first shot. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And the right leg at the second shot. Okay, this first guy, where's my flick? Let's see, that's. Actually, we need to resolve. God. You know what? Okay, I'm. Roll me uh, the weapon damage, please. Yeah, sure. I keep getting ahead um, of myself. I'm pretty sure you're gonna merc this guy because his armor is shit. Yeah, it's one d one d ten plus three L. Yeah, I for impact. I okay. Yeah, I put that on my sheet wrong. Sorry. It's all right. Yeah, just roll the one d ten then plus three, twice. Are you? Oh no, you're not using your pistol. Okay. He is. So the first shot's eight. Second shot is. 11. Yeah, okay. I'm, I'm adding the plus 3. So yeah, it's 8 you, and then 11. You you just blow this guy away. I mean, it's like fucking Harry <laughs> Callahan, you know, just <laughs> and the guy, oh wow, that was cool. There. What what if you what if it did one of those things where it's like I fire and then he hits the wall and then he goes over the edge like and does the Wilhelm scream? Oh. <laughs> oh, that would be so cool. But no, he is dead. Good okay, shooting. Okay. And I, as I said, I am, I am uh, laying on the ground next to the wall. So. All right. <laughs> You're just chilling? Yeah. Hey, well, up? I don't want to get shot by these guys. Okay, next <laughs> is Goat. Uh, all right. So these guys are all on fire. These guys are still on the ground, right? Um, all the people on fire are dead. Okay. And, and so uh, this guy is, I double check my rules, Diggs, you were absolutely right. I'm a shit DM. Um, so this, this guy is struggling to get up. He's fucked. He's trying to explain that it wasn't his fault and he feels really bad, but he'll go over this at the next company meeting. And these um, guys are trying to run away? Yeah, they, they look like they're half convinced to run and half convinced to fight. And these guys... They're still pinned. They did not get up. They're crawling around, and now they got shot from a guy who jumped out of a building like Sanic the Hedgehog. <laughs> yeah. Sanic. Yeah, just like, oh, fuck. <laughs> All right, well, if it keeps suppressing, that means Ricky's going to get in it, too. So I'm going to start suppressing these guys over here. All right. Fucking roll, buddy. Rolling versus a 37. I rolled a 72, so I just missed. My gun is now empty. All right. You are empty. Make note. Done. Where did my fucking dice go? I think they fell through the table. They still have to roll resist suppression. Oh. I know, I know. <laughs> yeah, you just... They do not. 73. What the fuck? You're rolling super good today. Shut up. <laughs> so... <laughs> these guys are now suppressed. Good job, Goat. Go, Goat. Is this a fabled team? Is this gonna be like a Grendel run? Dude, I know how to fucking run the Grindle at it. I know. That's what I'm, you just, suppression and you take notes. It's like, it's like Bright, we're like, are we in a prophecy? <laughs> <laughs> Did you guys watch that film? Yes. The, yeah. The, yeah, they the, made the, me watch oh, it because it, No, the, the first, the teams. first third is terrible, but the second two thirds are Shadowrun. Yeah. Yeah. Where Mike's just saying, yeah, the goats characters come in, and so yeah. like yeah. all the back like, oh fuck. No, like in that movie, you have all these like at the near end of the movie, all of a sudden, all the super elves show up and they're like doing backflips and shit and like kicking and firing and shooting everything. We're like, those are goats characters. <laughs> <laughs> all right, <laughs> they just show up and we're like, yeah, one of them jumps in the midair and Tex shoots him with a shotgun. <laughs> Yeah, well, I mean, that's what they're for. Garbage truck. Um, yeah, okay. Garbage truck. Yeah. 
All right, Diggs. I'm up. <laughs> so 5, 10, 12, plus bonus. All right, so I'm invoking uh, as a half action on natural aim, and I'll take a pop shot at, at this guy. Which one? Hit tab uh, twice. One... That guy? All right. Yep. I'm just going to aim with the my mag my uh, revolver and okay. take a shot. So that'll be these two. Nope. Fucking super miss. Uh, you want to use a fake? Stick. Sure. Uh, oh, I think that's a 100. So super ultra turbo miss. Yeah. Um, you draw down the powers of the warp. Your eyes extend outward. You see all the possible ballistic trajectories. You pull the gun and... You realize the safety is on. And why does a revolver have a safety anyhow? What? Who did who did this? You're like, well, why? Why does mine have a safety? <laughs> yeah, that's my turn. Uh, <laughs> one, one Just more like paper. the idea of someone doing the Nagant trigger it's pull. Like, <laughs> they're like... <laughs> <laughs> oh. Fuck! Don't worry, it lasts until the end of my next turn. Yeah, and, and the thing is, is if, if, if you were using any other gun, that would have been like a jam, but then, since these are revolvers and inherently reliable, I'm just going to say it's a minor feature you didn't know, and you're like, oh. Right. Yeah. I should probably practice this when I'm not working. All right. It, it probably has a safety so you can club people over with it. <laughs> like a manual bar safety. All right. Yeah. Okay. Um... Sucks I had to roll under a 70. That's terrible. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Deputy. Can I move and throw a grenade? So I do not see you throw on move. here. Yeah. If throw is like, is like an attack. You can half move and throw. Yeah. It's like, it, if any, virtually any attack, you can do a half move and do it. All right. Um, so these guys are still up and moving to cover, correct? Yes. All right. <laughs> okay. Can I throw one thing with each hand as this is a relatively short distance? You know what? 30 fuck feet. It. Yeah, fuck it. Let's see All what right. happens. I always one thought grenade throwing distance in Dark Heresy was dumb because it's like strength bonus times three, you know? And it's like, eh, no. I pull one of each out of each pocket hook the rings on the thumbs as I'm, like, stumbling forward after having just taken a concussion off the fucking window. Pull yes. both and just, like, Ugh, as I try to get behind the shield. <laughs> All right. Move your guy to make sure you're in position. Okay. Yes, yeah, so I'm somewhere over, over there. Okay, good, good. Okay, so you throw both of these flash and tear gas. Yes. Uh... Is our tear gas flammable, by the way? Yes. Some are. Yes. Oh, the song came back on. <laughs> right as you mentioned that, the name of the song is Flames of Love. As you mentioned, is it flammable? <laughs> <laughs> All right. The tear gas bounces on the ground and goes, and just starts sending out this cloud. And one of these guys goes, is that fucking tear gas? And then the flashbang goes off. Oh, no. <laughs> they are in a clown of tear gas holding their eyes and ears and screaming. <laughs> <laughs> but what about Gritlack? You're behind the shield. You're behind the shield and the demarcation line of angry gas is right here. Uh. And it's Griglack's turn. Alright, well... Hope these guys get a turn? No, they are in trouble. Oh, yeah, Griglack... One of them's on the ground, I would go fuck him up. <laughs> uh, Griglack charge dragon. <laughs> charge dragon! <laughs> Griglack versus the dragon. <laughs> Alright. Uh, Griglack need... Uh... 62. Uh, Griglack need to use Fate Point. Okay. I'm not the only one rolling shit tonight. Every time he's a Fate Point, it just gets worse. 
Uh, Greg Glack, do something dumb. So, okay, let's say you fail, you hook the shield in, you start charging and screaming, and you just run right past him. Because <laughs> <laughs> the guy's trying to get up. He's like, what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, by the way, this other group is now not suppressed. Uh-oh. They managed to get up, and they are looking at this guy that just shot one of their friends. But that is all they have done, is managed to get up. This could get very nasty very quickly. Kill them all the next round, Ricky. <laughs> That's four dudes. He has four bullets. Well, he does have the shotgun. Yes. And they are in a line. <laughs> Just spray and destroy. <laughs> oh, God. Is it, does it have the Doom 3 spread? <laughs> No. <laughs> yeah, everything on that side of the map is just gone. map, map. No. Um <laughs> Oh god. All right. Uh next is Mike. Um okay. So I'm just going to go ahead. Um if if I brace, does that count as Th That's a half action to brace. Okay, and then to attack with both is like another or is that I can't do that. That's that's that. an all out attack to use both your weapons. So that's that's the full oh. round. Oh. You know what? Fuck it. I'm, I'm not going to brace this shotgun. Okay. <laughs> I'm going to have all-out attack right here. Just going to let them both have... Fucking roll for it. Yeah. I'm just going to roll to see if we can we can just mow them all down. All right. Uh, I got... Uh, we're going to do a fate on that one, because that doesn't count. I got to roll double zero. <laughs> Ooh. Oh, man. 87? Damn. Oh. Uh-oh, now the dice are turning. Yeah, I know. Yeah, go ahead. Uh, so yeah, I rolled 87, I fired both the pistol and the shotgun, which fires both barrels at the same time. Okay, is let's say you squeeze the shotgun off first, and it yanks you by the lanyard, like, off target. You know, so you just <laughs> shoot one in the wall, you hear a round go through the wall, and a TV stop working inside. <laughs> And the guy starts screaming, What the fuck? <laughs> the real boss comes out now. Fucking retired space marine. <laughs> <laughs> I'm watching my TV. This is all I got. You just hear someone screaming, What the fuck? And screaming in there. Uh, and the shotgun is just dangling. It's empty. All right. Uh, let's see. Next is... Uh, it's going. All right. Say freaking. You gotta reload. So I do, but uh, let's see. If these guys within effective range of my revolver. Nope, I'm reloading. That's my turn. All right. You're just huddling behind there. You're saying the catechism of loading, or at least what yeah. you remember from that one book you read one time. So yeah, the Imperial Infantryman's Uplifting Primer. Uh, I believe it was on it's one of the later pages. Anyway, yeah, that's my turn. <laughs> you just like mix three catechisms together. <laughs> Oh, How dare God. you. All right, let's see. Uh, next is Diggs. Oh, hi. So is this... Oh, wait, no, I can't I can barely walk and shoot. Um, I still have... I'm going to go over to this corner and uh, peek out and aim at that guy I missed before. Because right. I already saw him get shot. It just didn't happen yet. Okay. I, I'm, I'm getting really good at this predicting the future thing. So here goes that. <laughs> God damn it. Uh, 97. <laughs> <laughs> you see the future. It just hasn't happened yet. You know, I'm, I'm fading it again. All right. 37. Okay. That oh, hits. so a perf... Fuck. All right. Wait. Let me look at this. Mike's in the way. Is he? Yeah, but no, we're going to do it real cool. Okay, you, you hit, but uh, roll for damage. D10 plus 3. Uh, 6 plus 3. So 9. Uh, and roll me on your hit location dice, please. The left foot. Oh my god. So, you see the future, you do your gun kata, you raise and pull the trigger, it bounces off the guardrail, off the ceiling, and into his foot. He drops his weapon. <laughs> <laughs> and the guy's like, fuck! <laughs> I, I guess that works. Yeah. It's like That's some revolver ocelot stuff. Yeah. <laughs> You're like, I'm the just wait, foot shooter. Just wait till I get divine shot. I could just shoot in the opposite direction until somehow hit it's dark. <laughs> yeah. You could like flick a quarter and shoot off it and like into someone's eye. Ding, 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 ding. Yeah. 
Oh man, this is turning into nuts. Okay, let's see. Uh, next is Deputy. All right. Uh, another half action. I ignite one of the road flares I mentioned earlier and throw it into the gas cloud and then dive oh. into this fucking door right here. Okay, one second. Does it burn? They all burst into flames. One guy jumps off the edge and does the Wilhelm scream. They are all they are all very much in trouble uh, for the game purposes. They are yeetus deletus. <laughs> so they got flashbang, tear gassed, and on fire. And one jumped off the ledge. Man. Talk about police brutality. <laughs> God, I mean, this is like dread. Um, I gave yeah. them the option to flee. Great. Okay, here. This is basically dread. That Here's your reward. That even asked if this was peach trees. <laughs> I did. Here's your song. Yeah. <laughs> I gave them the option to sing. <laughs> All right. So, they are way dead. I'll put on Flames of Love again, because that's applicable. So many people have died to fire. <laughs> As you kick Fire the door in, you find a guy in his underwear cooking what smells like mama's tired. <laughs> he's like, and he's he's got just a doobie hanging down. He's like, sup? He <laughs> just goes back to cooking. All right. Yeah, he's heard the commotion outside. He's decided he's not interested. No, and he's seen worse. Oh, God. I can't believe this is going this way. All right. Uh... All right. Come on, roll, you son of a bitch. Yeah. All right. So Ding Dong McGillicuddy gets his flamethrower, and he sees that that guy has turned. So he he is turning toward the other group of people with the flamethrower, and he's starting to back into this doorway. His other pal comes with him. And they are pointing their guns at this other group. They look like they're trying to disengage. Now, as for the other group, they are trying to now shoot at the other gang member and shoot at Mike. So, let me check. Alright. They produce... You got this, Mike. They produce from their from their kit, these same sort of terrible submachine guns you saw the Underhill gang use. It seems like these are some of their clients. Rolling? That is a natural 100. Oh no. As they square up and try to drill these escaping gang members and maybe Grig like their guns fail to work and they start swearing. Second group, let's see if they goose Mike a little bit. That's a hit. One hit. All right, Mike. Let's see. Rolling location. Fuck these guys. Jaw. Are useless. Uh, <laughs> three to the chest. How much armor you got? Five. Yeah. So <laughs> they shoot you. It hurts. The rest of the rounds go off into the ceiling. They, these things are uncontrollable. Yeah, I'm just going. Oh, oh, oh! <laughs> Fuck it <laughs> tight. <laughs> I'm a god! <laughs> <laughs> alright, alright. And we start over. Griglack. You see men trying to flee. The dragon has been cornered. Griglack <laughs> <laughs> charge again. Can I... Do I have to hit this guy first, or can I swoop around? You can that? You could run into that guy. You could try to just charge in, you know. I have enough room. Yeah, yeah. I will charge this dude. Alright, the one with the flamethrower? Yes. Okay. The dragon. Yes. All right. First of all, I'm getting rid of these fucking dice. All right, throw them. Yeah, yeet. All right, here we go. Ready? Uh, eleven. Hold on. We need to figure out how many hits that is. Because right. you have the ability right. to land multiple. Well, not on a charge action. Yeah, right. swift. But so you like, have swift. sure strike. You can choose a hit location on a successful right. attack. So for furious assault, does that work with a charge? It should, right? Yeah. All right. So... Yeah, so hold on. You got to attack, test weapon skill to see if you get a second. And then we'll resolve these. All right. 
Grigal, I get two hit. <laughs> oh no. Okay, where are they going? Because you get to choose. Um. Hmm. Hmm. You rolled a one. Yeah, Griglak good. Is this is this one neck? Yeah, you could hit him anywhere you feasibly want to. Oh wait, here we are. Head, left hand, left arm, right hand, right arm, chest, torso, crotch, left foot, left leg, right foot. Uh, we'll just do head. Okay, so you're just gonna like bop bop do the cross strike on his head? Yes. Oh, oh, okay. Um, go go ahead and roll me one d10 for each plus your strength bonus. Uh, plus my plus two, right? Yes. For crushing blow. Yes, <laughs> you have crushing right blow. On top of that. So my strength bonus is four. Yes. <laughs> I get plus six. Yes. <laughs> Technically, at plus fifteen plus uh, whatever you roll for both. So, uh, fourteen total for the first one. And, uh, 14, 15, 16, 17, 19, 20, 21, 22 altogether. With your plus nine from your shocking? Oh. oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so, your magic sword does plus nine. <laughs> so it's, it's 22 plus nine plus nine. I. Okay. Every, let's, oh let's, <laughs> let's just wind this back and realize the head has a so many hit points. <laughs> As the guy is trying to back up with a flamethrower, you you just great Bambino his head, and as soon as it connects, it just turns into mist. And it goes <laughs> all up the wall. So I don't even get a second swing? I hit the mist? Yes. To make sure the mist is there. So for next time, can you do a furious attack like in this situation? Yeah. I hit the guy too? Yeah, we'll talk about it. I'm gonna have to reread the rules on that, but I mean they are adjacent to each other, so that does stand a reason. Um, just curious. Yeah. We won't do it. So yeah, his head is just, and it just sails off, and you inhale the scent of blood and brain and victory. Magic sword. <laughs> speaking, of, <laughs> speaking of, don't breathe too deeply because burning tear gas makes uh, cyanide. I do believe. And there can't be good stuff in that dude's blood, so I wouldn't want to sniff that in too much. Yeah, so you giving him that would be a good idea. Yeah, so he <laughs> he is he is dead. He is he is massively dead. The other guy is shitting himself. I made him pass a fear test after watching Cro Magnon bash his head in, and he has failed. He is pissing himself and standing there. Okay, let's see. Next is Goat. Alright, I reloaded, right? Yes. Alright, so I peek back over at who do I, and I see that these guys are still up, right? And Mike still has not stood up. He is still on the ground doing right, his... I'm, yeah, to... I'm, I'm doing... Uh, this is the only way I can fucking brace anything. Alright, I'm doing... I'm gonna <laughs> take an actual like, aim burst at them because I'm within short range, so that's gonna be a net. Um, that's gonna be a net plus ten. I'm gonna be rolling against my plus so plus ten. Let's, so that target number of 47, unless these guys are big or small, I didn't notice. You can leap uh, up as a free action, Mike. 20. Okay, so I got two. I, I hit them. I hit them three times. Good God. Yeah. Between And I want to split the hits between them. Please do. So, yep. All right. So I'm going to put that down. So it's D10 plus 4, right? Yep. Okay, so I got 12 to the left arm. 12 left arm? Oh god, you're just shooting arms off. Because these guys have, like, shit armor. And another foot! The foot is becoming the way. Feet! <laughs> Alright. As you uh, brace it, put the bipod down, you just start going down the line. And you shoot an arm off, you whip another arm off, and you shoot that guy in his foot again, and it just comes off. Like, yeah, so he's like, ah! And with that, combat ends as the remainders surrender, and they raise their arms. They, they have had enough. The music still plays. Cordite <laughs> fills the air. The tear gas burns off and leaves a horrible smear. Deep below, you see a burning body through the central staircase. There's charred skeletons and outlines of what were once dogs. 
Stop, you're under arrest. <laughs> <laughs> Police freeze. <laughs> However, you hear rumbling from the back room. Where? Which back room? One moment. You hear rumbling from the back room. And a giant hulking old man connected with pipes and conduits. Oh, I where he was. Oh, shit. He just fell through the table. <laughs> um, <Yeah>. Again. <laughs> oh, God, I'll get him. <laughs> yeah. Oh, my God. This fucking thing. It keeps collapsing. I, 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 it's my fault. Phase. Yeah. So he, there he is. All right. So these guys have surrendered and they're, they're just standing over here in the submission position. Old man comes crawling out. He just bashes through the wall. He's all ungainly and he's like, I was taking a nap. And I think we'll end on that note. <laughs> to be continued. <laughs> to be continued. Uh, cause fear. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, God. On self. <laughs> yeah, make sure you save. I will, yeah. Jesus Christ. Um, I'll, I'll have to think out the XP for you guys. You can okay. just hold off until we actually finish the encounter. Yeah, I might just do that. I still need to get with you for the last one, because I never did that. All right, cool. We can do that. Oh, man. You guys put me through the ringer today. <laughs> Always bring a road player. I was really hoping for some psychic phenomena. I was, too. That's for why I'm like, I only have to get a seven, but I already start with a plus five. I better roll all three dice. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's all for now. Jank tabletop issues aside, we learn the in and outs of the enforcement squads, the Underhill gang got ourselves some new guns, and Griglek is gifted a magic sword. Most importantly, Quinn learned that driving is for the help and that he may be a shaman. So praise Zorg, bash heads, and ask yourself, what would Griglek do? The Manastrana Mundanus will return in our next episode. Grandpa needs a dirt nap. Just to let you know, we're brought to you by you and nobody else. If you want to support this madness, go to patreon.com slash bpltext, and if you want, you can check out WBPL76 over on Twitch.